tomorrow, October 28th, is National First Responders Day. It's a time where we can make sure that we honor everyone who's been on the front lines during this pandemic, the paramedics, the firefighters, all the individuals that are really right there when we need them the most. And a show called Live Rescue is a place, a time where you can go on rescues live. I spoke with the host recently who was a physician but decided to pursue his career as a host. He tells us all about this show, Live Rescue, how you can watch and also how you can honor first responders on National First Responders Day. Let's take a look. Now I am talking with the host of Live Rescue, Matt Eisen. He's going to talk about the show, how you make sure you want to see it. It follows paramedics, firefighters, all those on the front lines. Also, it's going to be celebrating National First Responders Day coming up. Matt, thanks for joining us on Park City Television. My pleasure, Christine. Thanks for having me. So tell me more about Live Rescue. Yeah, just like you said, every Friday night, we are following firefighters, paramedics, and EMTs all across the country. We're in 10 to 12 departments uh, every weekend, and we are seeing what these frontline heroes are doing. We're going out there on the calls with them. It uh, gives you an opportunity to see what these people, these faceless heroes, really. It puts a face to these people who uh, put their lives on the line to make sure that we're, when we're in our moments of need, uh, that we have help. And particularly during the pandemic right now. So it's been fascinating following these first responders uh, as they go about their business in, in challenging times. Well, that was going to be my next question. So you filmed this during the pandemic. We film it every Friday night. We are live. So now we do have some concessions. Obviously, the, you know, the, for, for the first responders, they didn't take a day off during the pandemic. They've had to figure out how to operate during all of this, uh, what the protocols are. Um, it took us a couple of months of figuring out how we could get our crews embedded with them safely. Now, one of the changes is normally we did this out of a studio in New York City. I would fly out there every weekend and we would do the show there, but because of the pandemic, we had to figure out where I and my two co-hosts, we actually do it from our homes. I go out to my guest house where I built the studio, um, and I am here in LA, my co-hosts are in New Orleans and St. Louis. Uh, it's still operated out of New York, and we're covering departments uh, from Florida to California, all across the country. So technologically, it is it is a feat that even just a few years ago wouldn't have been we wouldn't have been able to do. Um, but it allows us to, again, during these trying times, uh, to really be there, uh, to be embedded with these first responders as they go about their business. And speaking of trying times, we've got National First Responders Day coming up, which is a great time to think about all those on the front lines, especially right now. Uh, uh, you know, I, I think it all, on, in 9-11, uh, we, we really were reminded of what these first responders do, and we've had an appreciation. And I think this pandemic has been another reminder. Um, as so many people have stayed home, have avoided work, or have worked in, in new ways, that these first responders really didn't have that option. And so it is a, a chance to say thank you to these people who are out there battling fires, who are out there when we have heart attacks, when we, when we think we, when we can't breathe, when they, they are out there helping us. And so, uh, yeah, Wednesday is National First Responders Day. And to celebrate it, we're actually, my co-host and I are talking to one of our chiefs, Chief Brian McDermott out of Patterson. We're going to be on our Facebook page there at Live Rescue AE. And really, but it's just a reminder to say thank you to all those first responders who uh, really put their lives on the line to keep us safe. They really are heroes right now. And Matt, you were a physician before you decided to go to L.A. and pursue this career. Uh, yeah, as my dad says, you're still a doctor. You'll always be a doctor. Uh, yeah, I went to medical school. I got my MD. I'm, I'm licensed, uh, a licensed general practitioner. Um, not actively practicing, but it's been it's been great to be on live rescue and combine the two worlds of, of medicine and entertainment. And um, it gives me such an appreciation for what they go through and to understand what it's like when someone's life is in your hands. And obviously, I chose a different path. But uh, it really, it's it, and it's one of those things where I think on National First Responders Day, to just try to understand the the unbelievable stress uh, that these heroes go through on a daily basis. And so, just a reminder that it's uh, any chance you can to say thank you to them, uh, but to support them and support them uh, in in ways big and small. It's uh, when National First Responders Day should be a great day. Oh, I couldn't agree more. 
So when audiences tune in on Friday nights live, what can they expect? Well, it is nonstop action. We are going around the country. We had uh, just last Friday, we were covering uh, multiple house fires. There was a structure fire uh, that was threatening to get involved in another building. They were dealing with uh, overturned cars. Uh, we had a raccoon rescue. People love pet rescues. Honestly, Christine, it is amazing. If, if a little kitten is pulled out of a tree, the internet explodes uh, as people are marveling at, at it. Uh, and we always, inevitably, there, there are animals involved as well. But it is something, we have no idea what's going to be there, but it's always, it is truly the edge of your seat action and a great glimpse at to what these first responders do on a daily basis. Oh, I can't wait to watch. And it's really, I think, important now to not only honor our first responders, but to be able to watch them in action and really see what they do. It is a show. It, it, there are emotion. It's an emotional roller coaster. There are highs. There are lows. Um, but you get some great personalities in these first responders, and that's one of the things. Now we're in season three. You get to know these people, hear about their families, and uh, it puts a face uh, to these first responders. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Matt, for joining us today and talking with Thanks, us here Christine. at Park City Television. You can watch live rescue Friday nights on A and E. Appreciate it, Christine. Thank you.